Welcome to Star Wars Lost Hyperspace, a Star Wars podcast where we talk about everything Star Wars. Punch it. You thunder against me! You have done that yourself! There's nothing more we could have done. There's too much Vader in it. The boy you trained, gone he is. Welcome back to Star Wars Lost Hyperspace, uh, and I hope you guys are doing well. Um, we're getting closer to the holidays, Christmas is coming, and um, we hope you are having, you're having a great weekend. Um, I'm here with my friend Matthew Manchester. Watch out, watch out, everyone. Oh, yeah. I'm your host, Isaac Wilder, and we're here to talk about the new... Um, Star Wars trailer and um, other sh- thing that we watched that we heard some Star Wars references references on that, uh, which is um, we uh, watched the movie called um, what was it again? Uh, In the Heights. We watched a movie called In the Heights, the music the musical. It was um, be, uh, written by the written produced. Actually produced by Lynn Miranda. Uh, he was a writer for Hamilton, as you know, and um, and he also played uh, Jack, I think, in Mary Poppins. And um, yeah, let's first go through our, our first our trailer here from the book of Boba Fett. So that door, wait, wait, I'm gonna go back. Um, tell me what you think of it, Matthew. But um, that person, I think it's fin- my guess is it's probably Fennec Shin holding one of the guards, like for prison or uh, bringing him to Boba Fett. It's kind of small for me to see. Yeah, it's because really, I can see it's the, really tiny. The date is easier for me to see. Oh, that's even that could be Boba Fett holding one of the prisoners. Oh, cause uh, no hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know time. one had no hair. Yeah, it could be Boba Fett or Phoenix Chan. Uh, Phoenix Chan has hair, so he looks—he looks too far to well, judge. I, I mean, one could be one, and the other could be the other. True. But he looks too too far to judge if he does yeah. not have hair. Yeah, both too far to judge. Um, but yeah, uh, the symbol Lucasfilm is colored blue, like Boba Fett's helmet, bluish greenish. How was in the past? Best guy. Ah, it was just gray. Lucasfilm's oh. symbol was only gray. It's been changing through... Lucasfilm's symbol has been changing through the... Um, um, through the Star Wars. They're changing Mandalorian a tiny bit. Uh, the Rise of Scar- The Last Jedi, I thought they changed it, but I could be wrong, too. But. I haven't paid attention. Hey, wait, wait. I want to go back. This is like a 30 second trailer. Speeders. We might see Mandalorian. We might see Boba Fett riding speeders. Let's see. That's, that has my favorite of Tuscan Raider. Maybe I'm. Yeah, same guy. Again, I can't, see, I can't see the face, so I can't really just uh, confirm nor deny. Yeah, and they're riding on speeders in the desert. This planet really does look like Tatooine. I gotta yeah. say, this looks like Tatooine. Maybe it might also, be another side of Tatooine. But... Isn't that also where um, Boba Fett previously Job of the Hutt's um, castle, palace, was located on yeah. Tatooine? I mean, so... this planet right here, 
That's these city. guards who are trying to they're, they're basically like jumping on walls. But yeah, this city looks like this city might not be ta again. It might not be Tatooine. Jap it might not, but it really it really does look only, like it. There's only two cities I'm familiar with on on Tatooine. And it is Mos Espa and Mos Asli. Those are the yeah. two cities I'm most familiar with. It could be another city. That we Maybe an underground of. city. It's, and, not under, uh, it's not underground. It looks underground. Look. That's not... Well, well, actually, it is underground because this is talking about the underground. The under, underground. underworld. Oh, well, yeah. It, it, it's underworld, but it might not be underground. Right. Yeah. That's not like underground to you. Wait. There's a better picture. Yeah, there's like palace, like Jabba's palace for some reason, like that. That's Jabba's palace. Yeah, it looks Jabba's like, palace was just an area where there it looks was... like some of the things like I see is what's inside that. No, this uh, this Jabba's palace is very small. These areas, that's Jabba's entrance, like where the gate. These area, this is not Jabba's palace. Yeah, I know. Right. That's why I said it might be, it might be awesome. Masasa and Masasa are the only two cities I'm familiar so, with. They might be introduced in another city. So, look at these. These look like from the Star Wars game trailer, too. Like, um. Wait, let me find that video. The. Basically, the battleground. Area yeah, the battleground the of the. Oops. That city. So that area. See the see those are uh, uh, right. there's these blinds. The flags. The blinds, is... yeah. Oh uh, watch this. And then if we go to the Boba Fett trailer. The book of Boba Fett. Oh I'm taking time trying to get there. Um it's loading. But um Come on, come on. It's a little computer. Patience. Great work <laughs> to learn patience. Um. Ah! No, I'm not doing it this way. Okay, wait. I, I'm gonna do it another way. Because I can't easily pause that. Um. So I'm Boba Fett really here. Oh, I, oh, dang it. I did, did it again. I did, did it again. It. No, I just did it the wrong way. There's a way and the wrong way to do things. Yeah, we there. don't need to be quoting Alex in Wonderland. <laughs> There's a wrong way and the right way. Okay, let me do this again correctly. Take two. Okay, now I clicked on the wrong area. The right area. I just said I clicked on the wrong area. Um, come on, load, load. come on, buddy. Uh, okay, so those. That's that's exact. Is that the base? Is that this? They yeah. look similar to these, but just uh in but the cartoon yeah, version. See, yeah, this is down like this. Definitely was up like this. No, it's both in the side. Look. Let me pull it in the side. Uh, look, they're both hanging. They're both hanging around. That is up. Yeah. This is down. Look at this one. It's moving. It's it's up. They move. Hmm. It depends on the weather. They move. Uh -huh. when but the, there is no Tatooine's weather does not matter. It, it looks similar to the video game. Look, see, it's moving right now. Yeah. It looks similar to the video game. This world looks like the world in. Uh, but this is not Tatooine. This this is Tatooine. That's not possible. This the, the this world we don't know the book the the world in the book of Boba Fett we have no idea if it's Tatooine. No, that's Tatooine. Yeah, Jabba's. We already know about Jabba's palace. Yeah, we already so know Jabba the pause. Jabba's palace is in Tatooine. We all know. We yeah, all know I that. know that. There's no question. It's just a world that we have no idea. Like he might be on a different planet. Like that. 
that so this one so we get to see the full map the look like there's a this really looks like it's Tatooine but that but, but there's only two cities from Samaria right yes I know so I know you, I know of it but this one. this might be like uh Mos Mosispi I think you're <laughs> I that. just I just read <laughs> Mosispi that's coming right. Mosispi. What do you think? I it's just a Maasai spot. What do you think? There's Maasai. Maasai. Maasai spa. Yeah. The the <laughs> I think there's some reason. I think there's some theme to these names of these cities. Yeah. So I, that's why I made up the next city. I don't know the name of it. We have no idea if it's in Tatooine, but I call it Maasai spa. Maasai spa. No, I just call it Maasai spa. But yeah, the second trailer there isn't really much. There's just it's some spot we it's saw. The same thing. Yeah, besides they add like two, three extra things that we didn't and see in the first trailer. Most, they take most of them out. Yeah, it's supposed to be a thirty second thing. Remember, this is a uh, eight episode. They don't want to spoil. Yeah, Jabba's they don't want to spoil. Palace. No, this is not Jabba's Palace. This is somewhere else in that planet. See those people in the back? Jabba's Palace is that's too big to be a Jabba's Palace. This is probably where the syndicates. Oh. Not nah, where that funny, um, what was that creep, that guy who was voiced by Mando? Oh, yeah, says, I, I know, I know you're, you're yeah. saying the throne of your former master. master. Well, they actually, that might be different. That might be, yeah, that might be different. Hey, Boba Fett's ship. Um, yeah, Boba Fett's ship, it looks like it's been, um, it looks like it's been, uh, Boba Fett's ship that was passed in from Django to Boba. Uh, is, I believe it's the same ship. Yeah. Passed from Django to Boba. Because Django probably had it first and then passed it to well, that's, Boba Fett. We don't know who, who had it before Django. Do we? No, Django but, but, passed, we, but I'm saying from what we've seen so far, Django had it. Yeah. Passed it. Oh, no, he actually didn't pass it to Boba. This might not be the same ship. But it's definitely the same ship that we see in epi- in episodes five and six. Okay, now it's, I, def- it's definitely yeah. the same ship yeah. that we see in yeah. Mandalorian. Now I have a theory. I have a theory. So this picture shows that Mando and uh, Mando, <laughs> Boba, Sorry, Fett. Okay. Boba Fett, Boba Fett, Boba Fett, and Fennec Shan are sneaking around. Okay, and we 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 I think well Mando. This might be a backflash that maybe they captured um, a Boba ship. Fett's ship. A different ship? No, no, no. His. The one that okay. we see from 4, 5, and 6. Because after he goes into the slack, see in he comes two out. And three. Yeah, we don't see him. We see him stranded in the desert. Yeah. But maybe this is, will be like after he heals Fennec. After he yeah, heals def- Fennec Shan, yeah. they come over to... Mm-hmm. Maybe this is all going to be more... I feel like maybe this is all going to be more of a... Not backflash. We're gonna probably have a backflash. I think. I think this uh, might be like a backflash. A whole episode. <laughs> I think it'll be a few scenes. That'll be a little disappointing, isn't it? I think um, it'll be a few. A I, few scenes will be great. Yeah, I'll take like two, three, maybe five episodes. Since there's eight, I, I'm gonna feel like maybe eight. five or six. Maybe no, maybe five or four episode are uh, backflash. As mm. when he when he got scenes. out of Slack's um, stomach. Intestines <laughs> <laughs> and blasts his way out of there, and he comes over here to heals Fennec Shan, comes over here to find his ship, mm-hmm. and which is the one we see on the, on the picture right now. Yeah, look, he looks like he's sneaking around. That's him. No, oh, that's him. That, anyway. They look uh, like they're sneaking around, look, especially when Fennec Shan has his gun, her gun, yeah. and she's like. Yeah, I think the I think this is before Mando meets him because I think this is both. It's the same. It's if he if they if they're just getting the ship, and Mando doesn't meet Boba Fett until after he has the ship. He will somehow gotten the ship first. If this is if we're seeing them get the ship now, I think it's both because this might be we will get flashbacks because the guy says in the first trailer. I, I see you sit on the throne of your former mas- master. And that will happen after after uh, Mandalorian. Mandalorian. He goes and sits on the throne. Mm-hmm. That happens afterward. 
But I'm saying that we might get like four episodes of Fred Backflash how he found his ship. Mm-hmm. Because stay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, Boba Fett's ship. Boba Fett's ship. It looks like they're showing it a lot in the trailer. Like even the first trailer, they just show they show Boba Fett's ship flying by. I could go back to the first trailer. I like the trailer for the music. See, the ship just flies by. Yeah. I I think it has to be with some of him finding his ship and then maybe having some league on. Maybe the first, at least first few episodes would be about seeing how he got from the Slack Mm -hmm. to how he became, to becoming ruler in Java's palace. Place, yeah. place. Or it could begin with him at, in Jabba's palace and leading and going and like every other episode, like the beginning starting from where Jabba began and then going to mm-hmm. and then the next episode a flashback, the next episode back to the real yeah. life. But you had told me that you get a little confused if that happens in books. Books, yes, because in books they have to explain it. In movies, but you don't like it's easier detail. because you're just watching it. You don't like too much detail in books. In books, least. yeah. It's but I also much. like enough detail that I understand the book. Ah. Not so much that, like, for example, somebody is in, writing a book and explaining every clothes somebody is wearing every single day, every when they <laughs> take out the glasses or when they go take a shower or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's I get like, it, I get that's it. That's like too much detail I don't really need in a book. I get that. I get that now. Books are too much detail. It's but it gets a little be boring. Just the opposite. The I gotta BBC say, is. the Hobbit books were pretty boring. Because it has about the details. It was, it took also long, and I didn't find it that interesting. <laughs> judgy, very <laughs> judgy. <laughs> well, yeah, but yeah. So the book of Boba Fett. I'm gonna play the trailer one more time. I think this has to do with Boba Fett's ships a couple of times, but, um... Also, the name of the book of Boba Fett is being changed. It's changing? So he... Yeah. From the book of Boba Fett No, to... no, the, the ship is changing. The name of it is being changed. Uh, we'll find out in the book of Boba Fett. It'd be nice to know how the name changed. Yeah, I mean, I think it would maybe be... he changed it because he's lost it for a while. It could be that in the book of Boba F- in Mandalorian, he has a different name because in the Mandalorian, he doesn't he doesn't say the name of his ship at all. Does, Very famous. Do, do it, it, yeah, ship, there is a so... type of ship like that. The, so every ship has a name, like Razor Crest. Razor Crest. That's that's not a Mandalorian ship. That's the type of ship now it that, is. Now the Falcon is an exception. Right? Yeah, the Falcon is that's the name of that particular ship. That's yeah, that's the name of that um, ship. I might have so, some things here. Oh no! So, quick so, question: yeah. Do you think the well, how do I put this? Boba Fett's ship's name was that the type of ship, or was that the name of his ship in particular? Uh, I think that was the name of the ship. In particular. Yeah. Because, um, look, um, for example, the ghost, the Where? ghost was not called, the name of the type of the ship is not called the ghost. Yeah. The type of the ship is called the X, the VCX-100. So, That's, basically, there's how many ships are actually named like that, and how many ships are just left as... The, the model, the ship's model. X-wings are named X-wings because they are. Luke yeah, but that's ship doesn't act. No, like we were saying, Luke, wing, Luke wing. ship, but that but Luke doesn't really gave his ship a name. When they Which say, one? Oh, when they say, when they say Luke ship, the sh- the X-wing ship, the X-wing that Luke flies. Mm-hmm. Like some people would call that. Some people just call that, oh, there's Luke's ship. Uh, X, Luke's X-Wing. Or something like that. I mean, I would understand because... 
they don't really call it. Looks, look, because they, like, the original it, Star Wars, but they named it. They had a name for it. They called it X-Wing. So people should be, people would call it the name that it's been called. But to find it easier mm. to know, like if, for example, if I'm confused, if I forget Harrison Ford, his name, mm-hmm. I would say Han Solo. Uh, that's that's from all the act from all the movies I've seen him with. If I forget Harrison Ford's name, I would say Han Solo, and uh, um, mm-hmm. Carrie Fisher. I would say Leia because Mark yeah, Hamill. I would yeah. say Luke. The same thing where if somebody forgets like what the, if somebody forgets X Wing, they will say Luke's ship, and that would get somebody's mind going. Oh, but there's so many different X wings. All he's all, talking about X wing yeah. because Luke yeah. flew X wings a lot. Yeah, but then again, there could be a there's different different rebellion flyers pilots all flew X wings. So if they're talking about that particular one, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. That's what they're talking about. Yeah. Um, Oh, so, yeah, let's see. How do you think they'll start calling Boba Fett's ship by the the type of ship he, he has? Yeah, yeah. Well, well they so might just rename it to the greatest, the greatest, um, well, like, they might, they, I actually have a good name they could name Boba Fett's ship. I mean, uh, I would, well, I would, I mean, for me personally, I would rather, well, why they just, like, if we start seeing a by this name, we mm-hmm. they have a new name and has. Yeah. Do you think we we we'll just do, we'll just start hearing them call it that? Yeah. Or do you think we will actually see them explain? Like they might say they might say the old name at least once and say no. Do, I think they will suddenly just like move on to that sounds so just like you a have, new name. Just like where you have like how you feel with with box too much detail. Yeah. I'm kind of having the, like... I like it when things are explained to me. Yeah, they will explain it, but they will suddenly, like, start calling it by a new name. They won't, like, say, oh, this... This, uh... They won't explain us, like, in real life, like, how they switched it. The yeah, reason not why. real. I'm not talking about real life. I'm talking about... With Boba Fett thing. I'm not talking about real life. Why? I'm talking about in Star Wars. hmm Like, they will... They, they might... Boba Fett might just go, I like this name better, so I'm going to, yeah. or I feel better to name it this way, and I'm, I will just change it. Like, movies don't need to give yeah. us a lot. Yeah, at least they just I, need to I give us just, what we understand. Yeah, I would rather just have, like, I would rather have them say something about, about, uh-huh. like, in Star Wars reasons why they change the ship's name. Yeah, I feel like they're going to talk about the ship because we... We see the because ship. there's a famous ship by a famous name yeah. that. Well, we, uh, I feel like different. this is a ship that. I feel like they're gonna talk about it because they might want to introduce us to a new name, to a name that they might. Oh, they might actually think. Oh, maybe they might change it to a Star Wars history. They might even. Oh, like they a might, legend. They might go through the Star Wars movies. No, so sometimes. I did all of the movies that say the name of that ship. Yep. That they sounds just, odd. They might just go ahead. You, you can do so many things with movie magic. Now. But uh, it, just think about all that time. So remember oh. the YouTube videos that we saw? Somebody who took Yoda, uh, all the Star Wars movie, and mouth. they used the mouth like... Uh, and they say something else? To, say, to sing a different song? Guess what? When I said, oh, why don't... Well, if I do something, you and said I that was, you, and you, said, years. you yes. said that was too complicated. Yeah, it was like, if, it, if it's too complicated, the, how, what makes those guys? Think, I, I bet those guys do it for not just for fun, Matthew. I think those guys actually do it to earn something from it. And those, and one, you have to write the song. Two, but that's just not figure out the clips that yes. matches with whatever they're saying. This time is not a song. I mean, it's you can words. you can do it with you can do it with. Uh, Mandalorian, because oh, yes. he's, he's mostly a uh, in a helmet, which you can't tell what he's saying. So Son was saying to that would be easy. But the people who don't wear masks, that would be a bit, that would be more difficult. Yeah, so I'm like, they could do that with any of the Star Wars movies. They can change it in a way that um, mm-hmm. all the words that come out of them yeah. could mean something uh, else. 
But I'm a funny and more convenient to... To just switch it. Switch yeah. it yeah. and do a little... Yeah, ex- do a little explanation in the, what hasn't been created yet mm-hmm. instead of re-editing everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand. I am Boba Fett. One of the book of Boba Fett is reading December 12th. Let me go back. I am Boba Fett. The book of Boba Fett is reading December 29th only on Disney+. Plus. One thing that I found very strange is why did he have to introduce us by saying, I am Boba Fett? We all know he's Boba Fett. We're just not sure if he's a bounty hunter or not. Well, again, it's maybe, just maybe, he changes his, his maybe, the same the same way he got his thing from being a bounty hunter to not being a bounty hunter. Maybe it's the very same procedure. Like, oh, like they, let's say we just see him call himself not a bounty hunter and everybody calls him a bounty hunter. The very same thing could happen to a ship unless they say, unless they explain but, otherwise. But saying that I'm, I'm not a bounty hunter is the most important part of Star Wars right now. Like he mm-hmm. says he's not a bounty hunter and everything we've seen in Star Wars, uh, his ship, we just know the name and basically in the, in, in episode uh, four, five, and six. The name wasn't there, so we actually don't know if this is the same ship or this is a ship he got later on and named it that. And also, it looks pretty dusty and old. Well, so just like his, just like his armor. All of a sudden, it was dusty, well, and then, his, and then, and then armor, he puts it on clean. <laughs> Matthew's armor went through the stomach of some creature. <laughs> Came out. Somebody else took the armor, weared it. Actually, his armor should have actually not been that clean anyway. Because it was. Oh, like, that the spit, the digestive juices. Somehow, I don't know. <laughs> what what doesn't make sense is he was in that stomach probably. Uh, my I guess it's for maybe three years. Let's guess between three years. Because we don't know when he escaped. Yeah, and um. But we do know when we see him later. Yeah, let's five, guess three years. Five or a bit of later, five years later is when the uh, well, when Mandalorian starts, but we don't see him until. Late month, to like mid season mm-hmm. of the sec- second season. Let's guess three years. Three years. Mm-hmm. He was in there, um, let's pretend a month later he lost his armor. The creature threw his armor out of. Like, out of. Uh, yeah, because it can't digest metal. Whatever it was. It, could yeah. di- it, could, it can't digest metal, it could digest flesh. So it throws that out. Okay. But Boba Fett still somehow keeps his gun because they say he shot his way out. Yeah. <laughs> um, unless it's, it's, but, a, unless it's a, some mysterious thing, just like the, just like the dark saber, so confusing. Yeah. Uh, he shot his way out. We know for sure he got the gun with him, and he lost the armor, which is kind of confusing. If the armor was stick to him, so he, how did he lose the armor? But he is, he escaped without killing the Salak. I mean. He was know, was he, that the same Sarlacc that was being that the um Mando had a face? No, no. When he came back, no. Um, so he escaped. Mm-hmm. He left the armor. The armor goes to somebody else who has. Well, been why wearing... would he leave his armor behind? He like I want my armor yeah, back. But somehow, the what do you call the red the red hooded people that sell sweet apio? Jawas. Yeah, yeah, Jawas. The Jawas found it, sold it to this guy. Who mm-hmm. Randall came to try to find Randall came to and, find another Mandalorian. Yeah, and he ended up finding out this guy's wearing a Mandalorian armor. He wanted to but take it back. But he wasn't a Mandalorian. Yeah. So. so when he took it back, man, and then when Boba Fett waited it later on, it's, it should have been a lot more older. It should have been maybe because it's best guard. That's one. That's what one of the things mm, I thought. Best star. Best yeah. car. Best so car. Maybe, well, maybe because Mando, when it's best car. Mando's armor is now best star too, right? Yeah. Because so that's what the the money he earns money and then they m- melt it down yeah. into. Yeah, but maybe because armor. it maybe because it didn't look older. Maybe because it was made of best car, and hmm. it probably didn't. It probably wasn't going to be. It probably didn't change much because maybe it was a harder painting. A, pa- a painting, a harder paint design, but he still had that little 
that bump when he bumped on the sh- um, Jabba ship when he landed on the slab. Remember when yeah. Han was like, Han was like, uh, Boba Fett, where? And he accidentally turns his ship, turns his stick around, bumps Boba. Boba Fett crash landed on the thing, and he his helmet kind of dents a little bit. And we see that later, right? Yeah, we see that later. So, yeah, I like that. Um, yeah, Boba Fett is going to be uh, an interesting, again, yeah. a very, a lot of things are going to be solved in that one. When, all right, now. I'm he, hoping this. What? Yep. One of the things is I'm going to be, like, at first I was going to be, I'm, I don't remember what I was initially hoping for. I was so say with the book of Boba Fett, but knowing, hearing about Boba Fett's ship, now I have more. Desires to know what happened, like what happened. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I'm hoping they decide to do season two. Mm-hmm. I know there's tons of shows that are coming. Marvel, Lucasfilm, Disney all have plans for those shows, but I'm hoping for season two. And yeah. Well, we heard a Star Wars. One thing that we're ex- I'm excited to share is we heard a Star Wars reference. Uh, I wish I had that reference right now, but um, you forgot where it was. Uh, yeah, uh, they did a Obi Wan Kenobi reference on uh, um, the height in the heights, in the heights. It's a great. Um, it's it was the well, like something that he would say. Yeah, hello it, there is one famous line. Yeah, they say. had they had that line in it, and they had the other. They they basically rhymed Obi Wan Kenobi and they had some Lord of the Rings references in that show in that movie. It was amazing. Wait, do you want to see it again? If you could. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, at least they catch those references that you. Yeah, maybe to catch the references, of. maybe. But um, I gotta Not say, to actually watch it, watch it. <laughs> I gotta say, Lin Marina does a good job of making musicals, mm-hmm. though. La La Land for me. I will, yeah. La La um, Land. It's like La La Land. You didn't like that. Yeah. You didn't like the ending of La La Land. Yeah, it was. I. It, I had ex- throughout the story. I had some expectations, and then it. <laughs> and then at it, the end of it, you were like, disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I expected that from La La Land. I was going. You did you hear the story from someone? No, I didn't. What made how? Well, I heard the story. I, didn't, I never heard of the ending. So I actually liked the ending. You did? Yeah. I actually enjoyed it. I, I liked how both people got what they wanted. At but the they end. didn't get everything they wanted. They got what they... They got what they wanted. They got their everything. dreams. They got their dreams, not everything. Yeah. True. And that part, we're not going to swear. You should see La La Land. I'm yeah. suggesting you should watch La La Land. Mm-hmm. It's a good musical. Uh, yeah, La La... It will, for me, it will be like La La Land... I know uh, if I take out the about, musical, top musicals. Oh, talk about the musical that had the Star Wars references. Yeah. Well, no, just any musical. Oh. Um, La La Land. Um, I gotta put La La Land at the top musical, and then do um, I gotta put news. I know Disney. If I take out, if I take out, well, I'm actually not gonna do that. I'm gonna just compare the musical I've I have seen, hmm. the best one. La La Land, uh, Newsies, Zombies, the two Disney Zombies, Zombies children two. musical, Zombies and Zombies 2, mm, no, Zombies, Hamilton, Zombies 2, uh-huh. uh, In the Heights. I guess that those are the heights is the worst so far. Uh, actually, no, no, no. I did it the wrong way. It's... Yes. Let me start over. Let me start. Over. You're saying the best. Yeah, one? the best. The best on the top. La La Land. And the worst on the bottom. La La Land. Uh, Newsies. Um, uh, zombies. Um, in the Heights. Zombies Two. Hamilton. If I gotta uh, put it that way, Hamilton. I enjoyed Hamilton. I just. It's, to it's me, John, Hamilton just—it's hysterical. There's so much in Hamilton. I, yeah, I I like that. But there was so much in Hamilton. I wasn't a big fan of. Not just the but inappropriate the, stuff or the language part. There was just character. 
the characters wise. The characters just made me of who Hamilton was. Of who Hamilton was well, and be, other other characters, how they became how they became this because of this character. Yeah, so there is a lot of stories like that, but I if you read the his the history, if you actually read mm -hmm. the true Which I have. Yes. Right. Hamilton is like that. They so, try to take they try to take some of Hamilton but they also changed a lot uh, of it. So if they didn't change it with you like stay true with what they have with we actually was what I actually still wouldn't happened. I still wouldn't be a big so fan you, of it. You don't you won't like you don't like Hamilton's history. You don't like how well, like if they didn't change it and you still don't like it. Language don't buzz and bother me a lot, but that move that Hamilton was pers was uh rated R. But for it to be on Disney Plus, they had to make it PG thirteen, which means they had to take out some of the parts that were in Hamilton to be able to make it and PG thirteen probably... for Disney. When Lynn Miranda first went to Disney to have it, Disney refused mm -hmm. a couple of times. So and we didn't get to see a lot. We didn't get to see the full thing. We saw the full thing. They just took out some of the language or other area for uh, it to those, be. We didn't get to see those scenes. I don't know if it was more of scenes than more of what they were saying that sometimes oh, the they words. sometimes that can be taken out. Yeah. Oh. Um so they did that to be able to um uh, have the movie PG thirteen mm -hmm. because PG thirteen does have language in it. It's the, they were just trying to make it oh, hey Disney, what if we take out this, this, this part? This this, 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 this and, and this. That. Would you allow it? Yes. We yeah. allowed it. And now, uh, in the Heights, made not by Disney but Warner Brothers, was such a great musical. And uh, I first thought in the Heights was actually a Disney movie because Lynn Miranda has been working with Disney for a while now. Uh, Moana, uh, he wrote most of the songs in Moana. But that story was made before that, right? The in the Heights. Well, it was a musical. Uh, in the, in it the was Heights, a it was a music, a stage musical first. Yes. Yeah, so. Long 2008. And then he wrote Hamilton. He wrote In the Heights first. And then he wrote Hamilton. And then later on, he started work, work, uh, He worked on Moana. He wrote most of the songs in Moana. And uh, a new Disney show that's coming up. Disney, it, Disney story that's coming up that he wrote music in it. He's a great artist. He's a great musical. I just he should make um he should make Star Wars the musical. Um, like they they kind of, much, kind of but and when you say that, in which stories are you thinking of? Just a random story, making Star Wars the musical, directed by Lynn Miranda. Well, but, but it's not going to be like Star Wars, just Skywalker saga musical. Because the Star Wars, because if you say the Skywalker saga, which is basically with the whole, that's basically what every, all of the Star Wars stories is part of the Star Wars saga. It's all part of the Skywalker saga. Mm -hmm. Everything. All of it. Yeah. You, <laughs> could just, you could just change the whole, it, you can just change everything from Star Wars to the Skywalker saga. Mm hmm. Because He's a good writer. There are movies. There are maybe where they just like, maybe people will enjoy that. the Rise of Skywalker more if it was turned into a musical. So hmm. so War, so space. All of so that. So Darth Vader starts singing the ten dollar founding father without the father a, got it, a lot harder by working a lot. No, I got yeah. I got it backward. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he, by working he, a lot harder no, by being no, a lot smarter no, by no, he, teeth. No, yeah, the going person on. in charge of no, a trading chart. No, he. There's a clip we see him sing. Oh um, yeah, there's a YouTube video of Darcy singing. You'll be back soon. You see that you is now. Remember, you belong to me. Yeah, oh, that's from now. That part. Empire fall. Well, he, yeah, he's like empires he, fall. Maybe he should. Do maybe he should say. Like, oh, maybe he should say. And maybe he was like, mm -hmm. Republic fall. Yeah, he that's said, right. yeah, he said, Republic fall. We something, something. We went through our childhood through it all. When then push comes to shove. 
I will kill some some empire or something. I will, he remember? said he said I would destroy entire planet. Yeah, I would destroy yeah. something. Maybe we should. Maybe we can rewatch that. Yeah, and then he like, flash da, 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 And then he started shocking the sun too. <laughs> yeah, we should find that video and play. Yeah, yeah. That maybe that should... was a fun YouTube thing. You you won't get it unless if you see Hamilton. It will feel like it's more fun, but. You know, you're not gonna find it funny unless if you see Hamilton. So yeah, um, this this is our time for today. Uh, we will do more podcasts once we find more Star Wars news and what's coming. And yeah, we hope you enjoy our podcast. Um, yeah. Uh, um, um, any last thing? Yeah, it's uh, wishing you a happy new yeah, happy um, holidays. holidays. Yeah. Happy holidays. The holidays coming. The happy holidays. holidays. Coming. The snowbell keep ringing. Happy holiday. It's time that you To you. Yeah. yeah. It's a holiday song. What? I haven't heard of the holiday song. Are you sure? <laughs> you, you should listen to music. Are you sure you... I listen to a lot of music, so. Oh. <laughs> You're sure you didn't make that up, did you? No. <laughs> make it up. It's called Happy Holiday. Okay. So, it's a fun song. Okay, no, yeah. Um, nothing else to say. Yeah, right? uh, yeah, and nothing else to say unless for May the Force be with you. May the Force be with you. Always. Always.